you guys are looking to buy FIFA coins with fast delivery and cheap prices or open up FIFA packs on a brand new website for real coin totals, check out FIFACoinZone.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off. How is it going everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be discussing the brand new weekly objective foot birthday cards that we can get and how to complete them just a little bit easier and quicker than everybody else is doing it. Or if you're on a, like a time budget, or if you just need to do it quickly, or maybe just impatient like me and you want to do it quickly, this video should help you out in completing them quickly and getting those players in your club straight away. Now, in terms of the actual players, I've got to be honest with you, the cards don't actually look that fantastic. Don't get mistaken, I am very grateful that EA are giving us free cards. However, Ibra doesn't have that amazing of defensive stats. Now, he's pretty cool to have, uh, but if I, I know for a fact most people will have flashback Ibra anyway, so you can't play the same player in, in the same squad, you know, you can't play two of the same players. So he's pretty much going to be rendered useless for most people. Uh, Naldo looks decent, but he's incredibly slow and awful dribbling. Uh, and Javinho is decent, but I think he's got like three star skills and his stats aren't actually that great in game. I mean, to be honest, I think Javinho's stats probably actually are the best out of all three. If, if I was to, to, to say which one I would prioritize doing, uh, I'd probably say either Javinho or Ibra. Obviously, Ibra being the highest rated, so it's a free 89 rated card. So if you're looking to do SBCs, then go Ibra first. But if I were you, I would go with Javinho. If you're genuinely looking for a card you can use in like the Serie A, for example, uh, you're looking for a left wing. It's actually a nice card. Shame he's only got three star skills. But apart from that, you know, he's got some decent in games. Uh, a few stats here or there. Kind of let him down a little bit. But apart from that, I think we're all good, to be honest. Uh, now, if we look at Ibris, for example, uh, if you actually have a look at his defending stats, he's got awful marking, which in my uh, uh, opinion is one of the most important defensive stats. He's got awful interceptions, which is also, in my opinion, one of the most important defensive stats. Uh, An awful slide tackling, which is a little bit, you know, I don't really think uh, slide tackling is that important, but I think interceptions and marking are the two fundamental stats for defending. And sadly, he doesn't really have them there. Uh, and the next one is Naldo. Uh, if you look, Naldo's actually got really, really awful uh, acceleration. Uh, sprint speed isn't very good either. And his dribbling stats are actually really, really bad. Like 51 agility, 40 balance. He's going to feel like a trucking game. But like I said, they're free cards. You know, you've got a 387 rated Javinho, a 389 rated Zlatan, and a 388 rated Naldo. So you might as well complete them if you have the time and the patience. Uh, now, one thing I would say straight away is... Be careful to look at the wording of these requirements. As you see here, you need to win uh, 9 online single matches. You need 11 MLS players, so you start with 11 MLS players. Then you can't use flashback cards or icons. And you can't use players from the Premier League, French Ligue 1, uh, Syria, the uh, German Bundesliga, or Bundesliga 1, and the La Liga Santander. So you can't use any players from those on the bench. What I would say is go and have a look at some of the high-rated special cards from some of the off-leagues. Uh, same with Naldo. So uh, if you read Naldo carefully, as you can see, you need 11 common league and players to start with. Then you can't use anyone from the top four leagues, excluding the league un, and you can't use flashbacks or icons. That in itself uh, opens doors for uh, players on the bench. Like, for example, if you have a Neymar or an Mbappe, you can use them on the bench. If you've got like a like a Di Maria, like a Red Di Maria or a Cavani or something like that, you want to use them, you can use them on the bench as well and bring them on. So uh, so it leaves doors there open. And the same for Javinho, if you've got like Serie A players like Ronaldo, for example, you can bring him on. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to complete. My three subs at the minute are as follows. I've gone with, this is for the MLS one, so I can't have anyone from top five leagues. I've gone with Anderson Taliska. I've gone with SBC Dumfries and uh, and this informed Barinha card that I packed on tradable. Uh, Anderson Taliska, for obvious reasons, actually hasn't scored a goal or got an assist in seven games for me. I'm not actually the biggest fan of this card, but he's better than, you know, for example, uh, uh, Medu, Medun, uh, you know what, him. Basically, he's better than him. So uh, uh, Dumfries is fantastic. Dumfries can actually play in, in, in midfield or at the back. He's just fantastic. Uh, and Verinha, I'm playing as a left winger. I'm summing off the left winger for Verinha because he's actually a decent left winger with his stats. Uh, so they're the subs that I'm going for for the MLS team. Now, you can have, of course, for the Ligue 1 team and the uh, Serie A team, you can have uh, Ligue 1 players or Serie A players on the bench. So have a look for your Ligue 1 and Serie A players. If you don't want to use off-league players, for example, you don't have a Carnival to Lisco or you 
you don't want to use Carnival Talisker, you can use, for example, Neymar, or you can use, for example, Carnival Ben Arthur, for example. Uh, you can use, uh, you know, Depay. Anyone that you've got, if you've got like an SBC Depay, you've got like a red informed Di Maria, any of those players you can use on the bench uh, and they are uh, allowed to be used. So for anyone that's completed any SBCs or has any players, luckily, um, from pack pools or whatnot, then uh, of course you can use those players and uh, and you can make it a little bit easier on yourself. Just remember you can't use flashbacks and you can't use icons, but I'm pretty sure most people will get the message from reading that that you can't use those players so I don't I don't imagine anyone's going to make those kind of mistakes the same of course goes for uh Serie A players I actually don't know if I've got any decent Serie A players in the club I mean I've got the uh Carnival Emre Chan who I probably will be bringing on for the Serie A one um and of course you can just have a look at uh at, at, at concept players in the club uh if you've got like a Ronaldo that you're using your main squad chuck him in on the bench and just bring him on because I'm sure he'll do absolute damage against non-rare keepers. I can't imagine a whole lot of people will be having keepers better than non-rares. Uh, that is just like my assumption. Uh, so if you're having a look through it, you, you can imagine uh, how easy it will be to score with a Ronaldo against like a 75 non-rare, non uh, non uh, you know, Italian goalkeeper in the Serie A. So that's probably the best advice uh, for people that are looking to just win all the games. Now, if you guys are on, like I said, a tight... Uh, time budget or a tight time constraint what i would do is i would look on reddit or twitter or both as frequently as you possibly can maybe you're working all weekend and all week maybe you've got uh prior engagements maybe you've got to spend time with the family i know a lot of people that watch my content are, uh, are between the ages of about 20 to 40 uh, that is roughly my demographic and i know a lot of you guys may have families kids for example uh, that you need to t take care of during the week and the weekend so uh what i would do is i would look on twitter and reddit because what people are doing is they're coming up with team names to put as your team name for example last last week it was like smexy chigress um and you just basically give people wins and get free wins in return uh the home team gets the free win so if you log in as a home team and they're the away team they should give you the free win i actually managed to do uh emre chan and ben arthur within an hour and a half from just doing chigress smexy is my club name sorry is my team name so it was really easy to do that and i think you guys should uh should probably just look at um making it easier on yourself for doing something like that because I think it just make life a lot easier for yourself if you're on a tight time constraint and you need to do it quickly by just checking Reddit and Twitter as frequently as you possibly can. It will make life a lot easier. Uh, and obviously, if you're going to do it legitimately, uh, in terms of players I would look out for um, to, to pick up. Now, I picked up this guy for 10,000 coins. He looks like the best left back in the league, in my opinion. Uh, decent stamina, decent jumping, uh, decent, you know, half decent defensive, def defensive stats, and he's quite fast. There's not really a whole lot of good right backs in the... Uh, in the MLS, so I'll probably look at uh, subbing him off for Dumfries. Uh, but I've got Apara and uh, and Gonzalo Perez. They look like the two best centre backs that you possibly could get. Uh, they're pretty decent, pretty strong players. I wish I uh, held on to my Player of the Year Martinez because I did used to have it, and it was a very good card. I wish I held on to it. If you've got an SBC Alessandrini, pop him in because I think you'll enjoy using him. Uh, you know, there's a lot of informs and whatnot. There's an SBC Piatti as well. That's pretty good. Uh, so what I would do is if I were you, I'd try and bob in as many special cards as you can in the MLS if you've got a bunch of fun players and just try and have some fun because I think that's what these objectives are for is just to have some fun. Uh, same with like the league gun for example, I'll show you my league gun team. Um, I have gone for, this is my non-rare league gun team um, and I actually wanted to, uh, to to grab Ben Arthur as well. The only issue with Ben Arthur is that he's got really bad stamina, unfortunately. So he's gonna be uh, he's gonna be quite difficult. I don't know why his special card doesn't show up there, but he's gonna be quite difficult to uh, to keep. Uh, what's the word? To keep. Uh essentially healthy throughout the entire game, I guess. Um, but I've gone with uh, Jermaine and Godos up top. Uh, the reason I've gone with these two is because Godos is actually quite fast and Jermaine's, uh, Jermaine's got uh, that, that height factor, I feel like, or, or the jumping, sorry. I think he's got decent jumping, right? 80 plus 5 jumping. So it's not too bad, to be fair. Um, I think that this will be a pretty decent uh, team to go with. I think the 4-4-2 is just a really solid formation. So I'll be using the 4-4-2 or the 4-2-3-1 probably because uh, with non-rares, it's just uh, it's a little bit easier to use more of a defensive formation um, than it is to use a all-out attacking formation but that's just my personal preference uh, and the best way to find the best non-rares is probably to go on something like footwiz for example or footbin or foothead and just search for non-rares from that league i found a 
bunch of gems by doing that that a lot of people probably haven't found because you can't really filter from non-rares and rares on this game. So uh, it's probably easier to do that than to just uh, try and get lucky on the market, for example. So they're my tips and my advice I'd probably give to, to everyone that's trying to complete it. Uh, like I said, stay active. If I find out, you know, people using different team names to get easier wins or to make it quicker, I will put it on Twitter. I will put it uh, on Reddit or whatever. I'll just, uh, I'll let you guys know. So make sure you follow me on Twitter down below to, uh, to stay updated with that sort of stuff. I don't condone doing like glitches or whatever. I don't think that's really a good thing to do. Uh, I'll never promote, uh, you know, trying to do no loss glitches or anything like that. I think it just ruins the experience for the other player. And it just, if everyone started doing it, it would really would ruin the experience. It'd be a case of everyone trying to scramble to get the first goal and then just no loss glitching. And uh, I just don't agree with it, to be honest. It's just not something I agree with. Um, but, you know, each to their own. I know there's a bunch of people promoting it on YouTube at the minute. And I do want to make something very clear to those people that are promoting it on YouTube. Uh, EA do have the right to take down videos that are promoting a no loss glitch, uh, as far as I'm aware anyway. So uh, just make sure you're not doing that because, you know, you don't want to you don't want to promote a, a game breaking mechanic and then get your video taken down for it you know it's just it is what it is anyway thank you all for watching this video i really appreciate the support you guys are giving me at the minute uh we have just hit 77 and a half thousand subscribers which is amazing we are only 22 and a half thousand away from the big 100,000 subs and i'm very excited for that hopefully we can get there this within the next sort of year by sort of 2020 is the goal so that would be absolutely fantastic if we can like i said thank you for watching and i'll see you later